feel kind of nervous going to school because I like learning, but I have trouble with making friends. As I said, he's a geek. And some kids have told him that he's worthless to go hang himself. And I think he got to the point where enough was enough. Tonight, a tragic situation. A Perkins boy, just 11 years old, believed to have been desperate enough to take his own life. Well, last Friday, we told you about the controversy surrounding the new documentary, Bully. We just showed you a few clips of it there. After an unsuccessful struggle to get the movie's R rating downgraded to a PG-13 so that it would reach its intended audience that the filmmakers had in mind, middle schoolers and high schoolers, the Weinstein Company released the film as unrated last week. But as a consequence, it won't get nearly the widespread distribution that it was intended. And I asked you at home what you thought about this, and, and, I, and we got to share some of uh, the extended clips and the storylines. They're really focused on four or five kids here. Um, and without preaching, they just followed through what was the realities that these poor kids had to endure, and in too many cases, even suicides is a conclusion. So I asked you folks at home if you thought this film ought to be shown in schools. Yes, there was some profanity. Yes, there was some difficult situation here. but. From everyone I talk to that's involved in the education system, they say kids hear and see a lot worse every day. This was, a, they say, a teachable moment uh, that went by. And Andrew, um, we asked the folks at home to get involved, and they certainly did. The reaction, pretty overwhelming, pretty one-sided, Rich. Garrett wrote us that absolutely this is a film that is extremely important. Parents should be taking their kids to see it, and school administration should be tripping over themselves to get it in front of their students. It is an absolute must-see movie. Tracy sent us this message on Facebook, yes, if anything, just to educate all the kids to stop this abuse and to help prevent this. I do have faith in that our children can and will say no to this. And Gwendolyn wrote us, I was shocked that some parents were opposed to the idea over a matter of a few curse words. I like to believe that most parents, though, would be far more concerned with the safety, happiness, and well-being of all children than they would be with whether their kids are exposed to a few swear words. And let's face it, kids already know those words. We also got some great responses on Twitter. For Hosa tweeted, as a mom of a 12-year-old, yes, we need to view and discuss this film in schools. Rich? And you know, guys, as much as I, I think it's important that the kids would see this, I think the educators, uh, because as <coughs> apparently in the film, and I intend to see this film, they show school administrators who botch handling situations where they don't figure out who is the aggressor and who is the kid finally standing up for themselves and treat them equally culpable and don't take situations like the torment that kid was facing the bus seriously saying, oh, I rode the bus, it was fine. You know, I, I think an opportunity.